I don't know if you saw last week that there's this uh, guy who walked the tightrope across the Grand Canyon. Yeah, one of the Walendas. W- oh, he's, so he's a descendant of the Walendas, right? And of course, the patriarch of the family. Flying Walenda. F- fell. Fell and off died. Off the tightrope and died. Yes, and died. Yeah. I, and in fact, when I was a kid, I saw that. I remember. He was in Mexico, I think, right? I think that's right. I, I looked at it not within a year. I looked oh, yeah? at it on YouTube. It's, you know, it's terrible. So this guy is, uh, gonna, he, he walked across the Grand Canyon. It was like, it wasn't the whole thing, it was a piece of it. You it was know, enough. Yeah, <laughs> it was enough. Yeah, right, yeah. Believe me, it was enough, no doubt about it. This guy, and it turn, turns out you don't have to be in shape to be a flying Walenda. Nope. Apparently there's a lot of wind up there, and it could pick up on your folds. But, uh, so he, <laughs> but so he walked across, so he's super Jesus-y, right? And he, he had his- Oh, the Walenda super Jesus-y? This I didn't guy know that. is, this mm. guy's super Jesus, in fact, his mentor or his spiritual guide and guider mm-hmm. is uh, uh, Joel Osteen. You know Joel Osteen. He's the douchebag from the mega church. He's either, like in Florida, he's either the best of those guys or the worst. I, I can't quite tell. He's the best of the worst of those guys, right? He's right. the worst guy because he's doing it on a bigger scale than anybody else, which is he's just a scammer. And he's less hostile. Yes, he's yeah. a, he smiles too much. Well, does he smile? I mean, I wouldn't buy false all the teeth time, from right? this guy. Yeah. yeah, so all the time. He can't stop smiling, which, you know. Mm-hmm. So let's watch the first clip. Here's the guy crossing uh, the, and here, listen to his mantra as he's crossing the Grand Canyon. Lord, help this cable to calm down. Command it in your name, Jesus, with the authority of God. Praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Yeah, I'm impressed that Jesus took time out of his busy schedule to keep you from falling into the Grand Canyon. This is what you're going <laughs> to command, Jesus. In Jesus' name, please make the wind stop. Don't in Jesus' name I command you to cure AIDS or help crack babies or end unemployment, but help just help the wind go down so I can make this pointless trip across the Grand Canyon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just drive to the other yeah. side. Yeah, yeah just, go could, just go around. You yeah. could take a rocket. Ask yeah. uh, Evil Knievel. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> right, he, uh, I, but boy, you really can't get on the guy for not going over enough of the Grand Canyon. Like that was, like, yeah. like that was that that is that yeah. is something. It was much greater. So he was mic while mic while doing it. Wow. And he's just Jesus. I command you <laughs> in Jesus' mi- name. I command. That's just the craziest thing. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Total voodoo. In Jesus' name, I command. Well, can't you command other shit then? Can you command to find my car keys? Where are they? I command Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's like it's it, it is the it is an extreme measure of those the, the when the football players or the athletes start thanking God. Yes. And you want the one athlete, and there have been a couple who were like, yeah, I'm pretty sure God, (laughs) not interested in how the, whether the Packers cover, you know? Nobody ever blames God for losing the game. Right, exactly, that's that's, that's what you want to see. I prayed and I prayed and I prayed, but God let me down again. We're two and six. Right, nobody ever said, we were gonna win until Jesus made me fumble. (laughs) That's uh, uh, we have to cut that out, that's not my joke. Let's go to uh, let's go to the next clip. So now he introduces here's uh, they introduce his spiritual guider, Joel Olstein. How are you? Hey, doing great, Pierce. Great to be with you. So you're down at your Lakewood Church in Houston, which I actually passed by a, a few weeks ago and felt very spiritually moved just by your mere presence in that building. Um, and I was. And you know what? There should be a law. You can't smile that hard for more than 15 seconds. Yeah. That's a little. Can you go? Can you freeze it on that last one for uh, what's your name, Hank? You can't, that's just, eh, I can't even smile that hard. That's like you're ha, 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 ha. No, that's, you know, we just played the Honey Boo Boo clips. Like that's pageant level smiling. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> ha, that's like the either, either you're trying to sell me a used car or you got your foot caught in a bear trap. I don't know what <laughs> that is. Ha, ha, ha. He's got their money. What does he need? He, he already has all their money. He's already had because. I don't know, it's maybe. As happy as he needs to of be. Of course you can afford this home. It's fine. You can pay the <laughs> loan. It's going to be good. You love it. You belong in this home. So here they ask him what, uh, ask uh, Joel Osteen, what were you thinking when he was making this trip across the Grand Canyon? You know, I was like millions of other Americans. I was just very, very nervous, very concerned. Yes, so what he's saying is my faith does zero for me. Does zero. I'm just like you, everybody else. I'm shitting my pants because the thing I believe in provides me no comfort at any time. <laughs> at any time. If this guy would have fell to his death, I would have been like, well, that's it. That's it. He's not going to heaven. It's all wrong. Isn't that I the whole... i wrong about everything. I guess I've been wrong about everything. It does, in a way, make you like Joel Osteen a little that he didn't do that there. He's like, yeah, I don't know. What a great... He could have done it right there and be like, yeah... 
I, I pray to Jesus a lot. This wouldn't seem like a waste of Jesus' time. Yeah, well, yeah. I think if the guy would have fallen, Joel Osteen would have explained it away by saying, yeah, I didn't think Jesus just wanted to have lunch with him. <laughs> he liked him a lot. <laughs> he liked him so much. Couldn't wait to see Couldn't him. wait. And, uh, you know, after the guy made it to the other side of the canyon, uh, Jesus was quoted as saying, really? I didn't even watch. <laughs> I had the ball game on. Sure, is that uh, one now? I yeah. was watching the Zimmerman thing. 